several years ago, several men from our parish approached me and asked for a blessing to go on a mountain climbing trip. I was very joyous to give them this blessing of our Lord, especially because in this month of August we celebrate the transfiguration of our Lord when He, together with the disciples, went up on a mountain to pray. Memory Zachary. Long live Zachary's uh, spirit. And I hope that he has a wonderful ascent and a fair judgment. I love my brother Zachary forever and ever. Being on the mountain and um, finding a sense of peace, being able to find clarity, and I asked my brother in law Ronco, was this, was this moving for you? Because to me it was. It was very moving, and I was just wondering, do you believe, Ronco, that this is a place to bring other people? And he answered, yes, I, I do believe that this is a place uh, to find uh, spiritual strength. So what is your first experience here? What, what is it like? Uh, how, what are you feeling? Well, I don't think I quite have the words yet, but it's been absolutely amazing. Is it okay? It's, do, you, do you recommend this at all for anyone? Yes, very much so. It's beautiful, and uh, something my, my soul needed. Good. The mountain climbing trip was one of the most profound experiences I had in my life. It had many layers, many dimensions. That's why I think yeah, the feeling was so profound. Although our civilization did many good things, yet it made our lives very complicated. And there we lived very simple and I think we nonetheless felt more fulfilled, joyous and closer to each other, closer to nature and closer to God. And that's why it wasn't just a, a physical uh, challenge, uh, but Rather, it was spiritual as well. How you holding up? Doing all right? Very good to go. Good. Level? Beautiful. Mountains play a prominent role as places of prayer in the Old and New Testaments. Moses receives the Ten Commandments on Sinai. The Psalms and the books of Isaiah and Ezekiel make numerous mentions of mountains. The apostles experience Christ's transfiguration on the mountain. The mountains also figure as places of retreat or pilgrimage in the lives of the saints. Given all that, I think it's perfectly sensible that we should climb and pray. The climbing of a mountain is a perfectly apt metaphor for spiritual ascent. It requires physical ascesis, self-discipline, and inspires prayer. And it's nice to be able to see a view of your, where you're going, a destination. We, we don't have one, so now we're really, truly, freely climbing. Dylan, you just did your fifth, 15er, 14er, sorry. Uh, G, beginning to uh, ascend, Kit Carson, out of breath. Travel and climb and finally come out and give praise to the Lord and I'm truly thankful for that. Get to the top so you can be that much closer to God and you can go up there and say a prayer for your loved ones, for yourself, for the people that you lost in life and and it feels like a big relief once you're, you know, once you're able to say all those things and get that off your chest, and you just feel a moment of like closure up there. After you achieve that, you come down, and then you just have that sense of accomplishment, like, well, I, you know, we dedicated our time, our efforts, our strength to do this, and we did it. 
and then you realize, wow, that the, the power of prayer is really there. The, the power of putting your mind at ease and just praying to get over the next hill, over the next hump, over the next few steps really helped you, you know, step by step get to that final goal. Prayer has been a constant in the mountains though, and although my day-to-day -day life I sometimes find it difficult to pray regularly, it's, it flows rather effortlessly while there. Indiana has beauty, but it's gentle and often subtle. Colorado is so radically different, it's not subtle. The word majestic is an apt descriptor, but alone seems a weak word and fails to really give a sense of the scale and power of the landscape. You feel very small amongst the Rockies. They're beautiful and terrible. So you think about their author and creator and the physical discomfort you're willing to endure to experience them, and you pray. I've climbed for 20 years, and safety is a major concern. We make sure that everyone stays in line, in order, in, in procession on the trails, and that we do not uh, linger off. We provide as much safety uh, advice as possible. I would like to invite those who are searching for a challenging experience and to use their faith and to strengthen the faith. I would like to invite others who are searching for this. Uh, you may find what you're looking for on this mountain. Oh, oh, oh.